I'm off on another adventure and this time I'm off to Italy. Here we go! What a journey, I'm in Italy now. Let's go through that. Uh, plane, bus, plane, train, uh, ferry, train, plane, plane, and I'm here. <laughs> what a journey. And now I'm just looking for my lift and we'll be staying near where I take part in the 10 in 10 tonight and then heading down towards the race. It's Friday, checking out the course. I'm behind the scenes. Hopefully I'm going to be helping out with whatever they need doing as they're doing a tour bit at the moment. So I'm guessing they're getting everything ready for this weekend. Excited. How cool is this? You can see the start and finish just here and you can probably see them coming around here and then they head up down there. But check this out. Many champions of this course have stood up here and celebrated with joy. Yesterday was amazing. Today is a new day, it's Saturday, which is normally park run day. So I'm now seeing if I can get to the train station and get across to the park run. If not, I'm gonna try and run to the park run. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna run. Breakfast ready. presentation was absolutely amazing they're just packing up now loads of trophies it was phenomenal and now I don't know if you can see but they are just heading over to get some food now so many amazing people here and so many fantastic achievements super club Italian is amazing It's morning time and you've just seen the breakfast. It's 10 to eight and I just literally grabbed some cheese, some meat and a croissant. And now I'm walking two miles to get to the event. I've made it. Here we are. You can see there are a lot of people here. On the online entries, there was about 600 people. That doesn't include anyone who's entered already. This is absolutely massive. And now I've got to work out how Oh, I can go through a different door so I don't have to queue up because I already have my number and I'm all set to go. Definitely feel like a VIP. I have this whole upstairs to myself because I know we were in here last night so I knew it was open. There they are, getting everything ready. 
I'm gonna have a toilet break, get my kit on, and I might even have a little wander around the actual track and see what I've got myself into. Adding gel to my water, I guess it's not normal, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting some of my electrolytes in. Kit's on, let's get down there. I've had one of my trees, I'll probably have another one later, but I'm going to leave it out on the course here. And then in my pocket, I've also got a gel, which I'm going to leave on that one over there. So probably halfway maybe, I'll grab it, have some down, and keep it going. I've got no strategy for this. I don't know whether I'll go off on my own, whether I'll follow someone. They're all just having a big photo right now. And there are loads of people. I'm gonna drop my car off, join them. We have three minutes to go. I'll see you on the other side, everyone. Okay. Wish me luck. As the sun sets on what was an absolutely amazing event, I will head to somewhere and give you some more info on what my race was about, because it's a little bit dark here. Given myself a little bit of time and I have made it home. It was such an amazing event, well set up, lots of support from the crowd. The only thing that kind of beat me up in that race was the fact that I couldn't keep up with those who were running on the inside of the track. For the first lap, completely fine, second lap, and then someone was catching me up and I thought it was really weird because I wasn't slowing down and it was really early on. And then as they caught me up past me, started following them, and then we went, we went to go past a couple of runners. They went on the inside, which was off the track, well, I think is off the track, onto the verge green section of the road, which you can see in the video, earlier on and I stayed on the main track and by the time you get around the whole corner there were like a five people gap on me and I did manage to catch them up and then they pulled away again at the next bend and there was nothing I could do about it and it kind of mentally beat me up and I carried on fine got to halfway and then I went to grab my chewy gone and one of my drinks has also gone on the course so I don't know if someone gone around and cleaned up which was fine, it was just annoying because I really wanted it and then I got around that lap and decided that I'd walk a lap and then after that I put on some warm clothes and then kind of just jogged around at a fairly good pace but nothing what I was at and I still managed to get third place. I mentioned what happened but I don't speak Italian so I don't know if it was mentioned at the beginning or not but for me I didn't want any backlash from anyone possibly saying that I was cheating just in case if it was technically off the course. So I stayed on the actual racetrack the whole way instead of going around those insides. But what will be, will be. I still had a fantastic run. It was a fantastic event, as I've already said. But thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you at the next one. Goodbye.